A warning about health and beauty products that offer so-called risk-free trial samples. So what should you look out for? Here's health reporter Stephanie Stahl. Yeah, too good to be true. You've mm. heard that, right? Mm -hmm. This new report from the Better Business Bureau warns about those risk-free trial offers that they're often not so free. In many cases, there are strings attached, and the important terms and conditions can be hard to spot when you're ordering on a mobile device. The allure of looking younger. The ads are everywhere. You sign up to pay 4 or $5 for a free trial sample of a wrinkle cream or weight loss pills. Then the next month's bill arrives. I kind of called it bait and switch. They kind of baited me into it, and then they started charging me on a recurring basis. It's a common complaint heard over the years. I don't have $200 to throw out the window for a cream. I would never do that. So I've paid $600 in a mistake. Many of the products are sold using fake celebrity endorsements. It's a fake company. It's a scam. This is a slippery, sleazy, scammy outfit. Now the FTC, the U.S. Postal Service, the Attorney General's Office, and the BBB are joining forces to address subscription traps. I think that people feel duped. The BBB has received almost 37,000 free trial complaints since 2015. Experts say credit cards play a huge role in the schemes. That's why the BBB is urging credit card companies to do more, such as identifying suspicious activity and ensuring victims receive chargebacks. We definitely encourage the credit card companies and the banks to work with us and to work with agencies to see if they can find ways to alert them that these companies are on the list. The BBB is asking internet providers and social media companies to do the same by vetting the ads on their sites and consumers are advised to use extreme caution. Now, if you get stuck in one of these scams, you can try calling the 800 number next to the charge on your credit card statement and cancel that subscription, then request a charge back from your bank or credit card company. And you can also file complaints with places like the BBB or the FTC. I ha it happened to me. Mm, it's so, right. you know, you look at the, you're looking on the phone and it's like free, free, free. Right. And I ordered it and it wasn't free, free, wow. free. And right. then, you know, backtracking to try and stop it. Mm -hmm. Is a real pain, right? They I make it so difficult. So you got to be careful to get yeah. uh, good heads up. Stuff.